Hi friends, my name is Akil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial, we will look at the drive tables in SQL Server. So the agenda of today's video tutorial is, what are the drive tables in SQL Server? So the drive tables are also known as subqueries or inline views, are the temporary result set that you create within a SQL query. They let you treat the results of a subquery as if they were the table that you can query from in your main query advantages of using the drive tables so drive table offers several benefits and the first one is that they simplify the complex queries by breaking them down into the smaller manageable parts they can improve the query organization and readability they can enhance the query performance by allowing the database engine to work with the smaller focused result sets so let's see the drive tables with an example so let's jump to the demo so I got a SQL Server instance and uh, we will be using two tables here uh, and I will show you how you can write a SQL query and using the drive tables. So in this particular script I am just checking if the employees table exists then drop it and recreate it and insert some data and then in the second set of statements I am checking if the departments table exists then drop it, recreate it and then insert some data into the departments table. So here I am just using the two tables employees and departments okay uh, so let me show you selecting the data from these two tables select a star from employees and then select a star from departments okay yeah so these tables contain some data the first table contains six records and the second table it contains three records okay now let's say we want to find the average salary of the employees in each department okay so how we can do that so we can use the drive tables to get the average salary of employees in each department okay so i can write the query here which i will use as a sub query or you can say it drive table okay so how i can write the statement i can write like select from employees okay and uh, i will find the department id and their average salary so department id and then average salary and I will call this column as average salary okay and I will do a group by on the department ID of course okay so this is kind of query that I'm using here so what we will do we will create this uh, query as a drive table okay so how we can uh, make a query as drive table we can uh, enclose it in the parenthesis and then we can call it as a new name like I can call it as DT okay and now we can use this particular drive table in your main query so I can write uh, the main query as select and I can select the data from the departments table departments and I can call it as D and then we can join these tables together so we can join the departments table with the DT table and this is a drive table here okay so we can select some data like select d dot department name comma dt dt is the drive table dot average salary okay and then we can do a join between the departments and the dt table on d dot department id equal to dt dot department id okay so here we are doing a join between the departments table which is aliased as d and between the this particular query and this is a drive table which is called as DT okay so we are doing a join on these two particular tables on the department ID so if I execute the whole queries together so this is the result set from the first table and then this is the result set from the departments table and this is the average salary for all the departments you know the sales department marketing department and the finance department so this is one of the way to get the average salary of different departments using the drive table option. This is also called as drive table and this is also a subquery as well. Okay. Yeah, so I think that's it for today's video and I will share the create table statement and the insert query and along with the select query with you so you can download them from the link in the description of the video. Yeah, so I think that's it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button. Do subscribe to our channel. Press the bell icon and click on all so that you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much.